Stop buying the G Pro X Super Lite. Just kidding, of course. The G Pro X Super Lite is excellent, but for some people, it might not be the best choice. It's not like it's 2018 where the only options for a lightweight wireless gaming mouse was from Logitech or from Razer. It's 2022 and Logitech's G Pro X Super Lite, while great, is not the only option. Make sure you get a mouse that's right for your hand size, your grip style, and overall your needs. There are a couple of my favorites that you might want to check out. If you like palm gripping or relax gripping your mouse, I personally would recommend checking out the Pulsar X Lite Wireless Series. The V2 and the V2 Mini are very light. This one's 59 grams and the Mini is even lighter than that. It looks straight out of Cyberpunk. It's super cool. Its shape is based on the Zowie EC2 and EC1 series. It's extremely ergonomic and extremely comfortable for anyone doing a palm grip or more of a relaxed grip. Okay, what if you want a ambidextrous claw grip mouse similar to the G Pro X Super Lite? Something even more low profile, a little bit more slender. The Razer Viper V2 Pro is a great option. It's extremely light at 59 grams without any holes. It's got a really fast sensor, really great clicks, and the Razer Viper shape has been my favorite shape for a very, very long time. It's really expensive though, just like most of Team Green's offerings but it definitely has a lot of performance if you know what you want. If you're looking for a super cheap option, Techwear Pulse Elite is only 65 Singapore dollars on Lazada or Shopee. It's 66 grams with the lightweight attachments and it has hop swap switches, so you can easily swap out the mouse clicks if they fail or if you don't like them, which is a feature that all these more expensive mice don't even have. Any other recommendations? You better not say Final Mouse Starlight.